Hey guys, it's Brad Bernoski. <clears throat> out on a little uh, short hike in nature. And I'm out in a place which last year, it was always a favorite place of mine to come and hike, but last year it really was devastated by, uh, we had that um, hurricane that came up from uh, from the east, you know, on the east coast, Hurricane Sandy. And um, it just devastated. There are a lot of old pine trees in this in this area devastated the winds were just they just couldn't withstand it and um but like i'm looking out now and it's just like we've had a year of a, a summer of growth and you know it's just renewal you know it's regenerating itself now it's funny because i came out here a few days after the event after this place was kind of devastated and and you know I'm looking around and I'm seeing how just the birds and the animals are just you know they're just like just as they're just as joyful as as they were before it's like it's like it didn't even affect them um you know like it's like the same thing with look at like animals in nature look at sea like whales and dolphins right they they like embody the space of there's no judgment for with them there's they don't hold it against the earth or humans for what we do to them right with what we do to the uh, environment the animals don't really hold it against us and I'm just amazed and, and, and so like it's such a powerful lesson because you know we too what if we could embody that space of no judgment where the whole world could be going to hell in front of, around us and it's like we look at what's right. What's instead of like being it wrong, or this is like the worst ever. What if it could be right? What what if there's something right? We could always look at what's right about it. And I've heard a story about um, a man. I think he was on the news, and it was after Hurricane Katrina hit in uh, like Louisiana, New Orleans, and he lost like you know half a million or a million dollar home. He lost everything, literally, and and he was like standing where his house used to be in his underwear or something like that and the the news uh you know they they interviewed him and 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 you know they asked him what his take was or what's he what he's going to do now or something and, and his response was you know i'm just so grateful that i i'm alive i i have the the, the clothes on my back or the underwear on his you know that in this case but he he still has family he's he still, you know, he can rebuild. Okay, so his house was, was gone. Okay, well, you know, he's in the mindset of how does, you know, how does it get, where do we go from here? What's right about this? I still have my health, my life. I'm still alive. I have my family. We can move on, you know. And this is just a symbolic for a lot of people look at what's bad in their life. And it's like, what if everything that happens to you could be a blessing? What if everything that occurred or happened in your life that you perceived as negative was, was actually something to bring you back to you. And what do I mean by that? It's like this weekend I was around a situation where I chose to be in a situation um, that wasn't ideal for me, that I wouldn't necessarily choose to be in. Um, and I was really judging myself and beating myself up about it. But, you know, in the end, I realized, wait a minute, it was bringing a lot of emotional stuff up, like anger and, and all this stuff that, that because I used to, I used to, in, back in the day, I used to live this kind of life, you know, I, I would, I, I wasn't a big drinker, but I would hang around people that weren't exactly living the ideal lifestyle, and it brought a lot of that past, it brought a lot of the past up for me, and so I realized that, I, I instead of judging, well, this is, you know, I'm, I'm wrong for being in this situation. This is the worst ever. I actually was like, what's right about this? Actually, I released a lot of crap this weekend that was that was coming up for me. A lot of emotional baggage. A lot of past memories and stuff were coming up. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this work, that this emotional release, this releasing the past, all the beliefs and the judgments and all, when we can let go of that and look at the rightness of everything that happens to you in your life, whether you perceive it as wrong, it just is. And the universe wants to bring you back to you. Everything that happens to you is for a reason. Trust me on that. Everything that happens to you is for a reason. And we can't go into the conclusion of whether it's right or wrong. 
because it's all for a reason. It's all to bring you back to who you really are. And I just want to tell you from experience, after this, this weekend, after all the release, the emotional release I did, I did my emotion code work, I did some um, some access work, access consciousness, it's, it's a tools for, for you know energy work to release the past beliefs and all. I, I am embodying a space of being that I haven't been in a long time that I can't remember. A space of peace. I feel like me again. I, I just, it's absolutely heaven. And you, heaven, you too can have heaven. I'm, I'm serious. It's here. Heaven is here. If you can just see that everything that happens in life is for a reason, right? Everything that happens for a reason. So, I just want to share that with you guys. Um, it's this, this, you know, seeing everything as a blessing in disguise is, is, is how it's freeing. It's freeing to see it as that perspective. And it's sacred work. You know, everything in, in life is for a reason. So I just want to share that with you guys. And uh, maybe look forward to helping you release the past if that's something you'd be interested in. I'd love to work with you. Um, let me know. Get in touch with me if, you, if you'd like to. Send me a, uh, contact me through Facebook. Um, or shoot me an email if, if you have my email address. So have a good one, guys. Peace.